seven games left in the season. The Buffalo Bills fire their head coach, Dick Geron. We are here to talk about it. Welcome to you. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Pete Prisco, our NFL columnist, joining us now. Uh, Perry Fuel, the defensive coordinator, will take over. A lot of people saying the coach. What about the offense? Well, you know, I don't think that there's any other candidates on the on the staff that would make sense. Perry makes a lot of sense. He's a lot like Dick Duran in that he's a very nice guy, but I think he's a little more fiery than Dick Duran. So, uh, you know, it's an interposition. I think they have to do something big after the season. But for now, Perry Fuel makes a lot of sense. Why at this point in the season, though? Well, I, I think when you look at what they've done on offense, I mean, they've been a disaster on offense. They haven't had 230 yards passing in 14 games. In, in the modern NFL, that's terrible. Uh, I think that they had to make some kind of decision. I'm not sure I would have made this decision right now, but they decided they needed to. Ralph Wilson thought he needed to make a change and liven up the team. Um, but, you know, they got to go big in the offseason. Enough of, uh, you know, paying coaches on the cheap and trying to get – uh, you know, guys that come in there for a little bit of money instead of paying the big money. They need to go out and find a big-time coach. The fact that Fuel Pete is a defensive mind and this offense is in need of some major direction, do you think that plays a factor at all and is and it is kind of a bad decision because of that or no? No, I don't think so because, I mean, it wasn't like anybody on the offensive staff would deserve to get the mention. I think, you know, Bobby April, the special teams coach, actually was a possibility. But I think – you know, Perry's the logical guy. The problem is, how are you going to fix an offense that doesn't have players on it? And, and by that, I mean quarterback. Trent Edwards has not, you know, made the steps that they thought he should make. Ryan Fitzpatrick is certainly not the answer. The offensive line isn't very good. So, you know, you're trying to piece together an offense and throw the football without the pieces in place. And, and that's a problem. They need to get a quarterback. Pete, the relationship Jerron had with owner Ralph Wilson was a good one. How difficult was this for him? Well, Dick Duran might be one of the five nicest men in the National Football League. I've known Dick for a long time. Uh, Dick is a class act all the way around. But, you know, business is business and friends is friends, as they say. And, and, and he had to make the decision, he felt. They head to Jacksonville this weekend. How do they do for the remainder of this season? Can they put this behind them and put things together going forward? Well, you know, the last couple times they went on the road before the Tennessee game, they actually played pretty well. I, I, I can't see them rallying around Perry Fuel. I don't think it's that kind of scenario because they're not good enough on offense. Until they can pass the ball uh, with the rest of the teams in the NFL, they're not going to be very good. Remember, the K-Gun offense with Jim Kelly, they could throw the ball all over the place. They need to get back to that, and they need to get the right person in there. I'll give you a name. Jim Hazlitt, uh, you know, former Buffalo Bill, very fiery. He's a possibility in Buffalo to come in there and maybe become the head coach. But if they hire Jim Haslam, he's going to have to hire the right offensive coordinator and get a quarterback. Fiery, the word of the day. Jerron Outfuel in his interim coach of the Buffalo Bills. They battled Jacksonville Sunday at 1 o'clock. For Pete Frisco, I'm Lauren Shahadi. Until next time.